Hello, York Alliance volunteers. Thank you so much for your love and support that you give constantly um, in serving at York Alliance. We all appreciate it. Us who do the schedules and make out uh, the schedules, we appreciate all the hard work that you do each week um, to make York Alliance run and happen um, because uh, we couldn't do it without all of you. So thank you. So get ready, strap in. We're going to quickly go through um, what uh, scheduling and stuff looks like for York Alliance. I'm not going to go through the basic information of um, your updating your profile or anything like that. We're just going to focus on volunteering because there's a lot to cover. All right. So first, I am going to show you how to get to uh, one church. So again, sharing my screen, we are going to the York Alliance website from yorkalliance.org, you're gonna click connect and go down to One Church. That will bring up the One Church software page. And if you look down here, there's a One Church uh, portal. I click on that. It will automatically pull up this URL, which is the URL that you could go to directly, yorkalliance.onechurchsoftware.com. And I have this saved on my phone as well as on my computer, just so that I can go get to it easily. We are going to log in as my daughter, Evie, because if you logged in as me, you'd get to see a lot of extra stuff that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, but my daughter, Evie, serves on the uh, welcome attendance. And so she is uh, on the welcome team. She is a door greeter. And so you can see that she is um, going to be volunteering on Sunday, January 16th. And she will be at 8.30 a.m. at the sanctuary front outer door. And so she knows exactly where she's going to be and what her schedule looks like. And so you can see she's also scheduled again for March. You can see all of your upcoming volunteers right here from your homepage on your dashboard. Um, if for some parent reason, you are no longer able to serve on those dates, these green dots mean that you've already accepted and they are on your calendar. If the dots are orange, that means that they are pending, meaning we're still waiting for a response from you. Um, or if they are red, it means you've declined it. Um, and so if you go in and click on the date for January 16th, say for some parent reason, Evie gets sick and is unable to do January 16th, she can uh, click the down arrow button on the response. It's automatically set to accepted because we already accepted that. She can hit swap with somebody and she can find somebody else um, to swap with her for that position. Now, specifically, you can specify what service. So say January 23rd, like you have a specific date you want to swap with, or hey, I can do February 6th. It'll pull up. Um, Bob Aldinger is the person that is on for that day. And you can say, hey, I got sick. I need to switch with you. Is it okay? Um, and so you can type in your personal message and click save. And that will automatically go to Bob and let him know that you're requesting to swap with somebody. If you say, I don't even know when I'm going to be back again and when I'm, I'm going to feel well, you can just click find a replacement and it will email all of these people at once. And you can type in your message as normal. You can also say, hey, I, I'm willing to swap with whoever has this position on whatever day, um, if you wanna do it that way. And it just emails a lot of different people instead of just emailing one person for a select date. And then you click save. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit close because Evie is available on the 16th and she is gonna be serving them. So the other thing, it shows you is list my group. And like I said, she's a part of the welcome team. If you click right here on this link, this welcome team link, it will take you to the welcome team kind of splash page. It'll tell you exactly, um, kind of give you a mission statement and what you're doing information. But if you click on members here, it will also list all of the members. And so you can go down through. If you like to call people instead of emailing them, you uh, are free to call people. You can see all of the members here and you would just click on a specific person. We'll click on re. And I can see all of Re's information and I can contact her via email or phone number. 
Again, I'm going to the home page, which is my dashboard. And I clicked on that by getting on the main navigation, the home button right over here on the left hand side. So that's basically it as far as upcoming volunteering and groups. Um, you can also click groups over here. It's on the left navigation and you can see all the groups. Again, it's only going to have, it's gonna have every single group listed here. But if you look, this little banner that says enrolled here at the bottom part is on the welcome team. And that means Evie is enrolled in that group. Serving. This doesn't pertain particularly to the welcome team. Um, so Evie is unable to see certain things, but on children's ministry, we have where you can actually just sign up for positions. The reason why these show up here, it's children's ministry greeter, is because anybody can be a children's ministry greeter. Anybody who knows how to check in a child um, and explain where the rooms are can be a children's ministry volunteer. And I don't need clearances for that. So it is on the general calendar for anybody to sign up and be a greeter um, on that. And so that is available to everybody. So if she wanted to do children's ministry greeting, she could click on that and automatically accept it and hit yes. And then it would automatically schedule her for that job, which she could totally do. All right, I want to show you a few more things. So that pretty much um, sums up all the left navigation buttons that you would need to know as well as your, your home dashboard. But over here, if you click on Evie Mitchell on the right, top right, you will see serving availability. And this is one of the things that we go through when you are um, making out your calendar and uh, specifically for this group, uh, Re would email you and say, hey, I'm gonna be doing the scheduling, make sure your dates are blocked out um, or make sure um, your preferences are set. This is what she's talking about. So I'm gonna be away next week now. This is technically EV schedule. So, but I'm gonna block out the entire week. I'm unavailable that week because I'm gonna be uh, away at a pastor's conference. Um, I can put the dates on here or I cannot put the dates on here. Then I'm also gonna be out this week because I am also going to be on a retreat. So I can put those dates on there as well. Um, I think it's because I haven't clicked save. Anyway, um, yeah, there you go. I can, I can select them all. Anyway, and then you can click save. Uh, I think it's because I had the other ones highlighted and I didn't save them. Um, so I couldn't select them as a group. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so click save in between each one of them so that that way you can kind of select a group if you need to or just select individual days. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these because these are not days that Evie will be away. And that would just mess up the schedule. Um, but if there's days you're going to be out or days that you don't know that you're available, just go ahead and put those in, black them out, say Easter is, is, is one's coming up that sometimes people go away for or don't want to work on because maybe you have friends or family that come during that time, that might be one you want to block out. Um, so think about holidays and, and what you're doing for those and set those preferences up. So that's block out dates. Moving on to preferences. Now, this is going to show you every position available. We no longer are in the fellowship hall. So there was a door and then there was also a welcome team inside, but we are at the bottom here because we're in the sanctuary. So the first thing you can do is set your preferences. Like, so if Evie likes to be maybe the lower door children's wing, like that's her favorite spot, she can um, select, it's kind of like makes a little uh, across these three, um, lines here on the side and you can move your preferences so say this is her preference she likes to be at the lower door first which is downstairs in the children's wing then if that's not available she likes to be on the carport um and then if that's not available she likes to be at the front door you can select all of those um one of the things that is not important as far as welcome team is welcome and worship uh, leadership and tech team, they all do both services. But in children's ministry, if you only wanted to do a specific um, uh, service, you can select whether you want to do 8.30 or 10.30. But again, for worship team, you do both 8.30 and 
you can put on here how often you would like to serve. So if you would like to serve um, once a month, you can put that you would like to serve once a month. You can put the frequency. Um, maybe you want to do an interval or maybe you want to do specific months. So you can go, if you say, I want to serve the first week, week of every month, I want to serve. You can go ahead and select that. And then that will be a preference in here. If you want to do an interval of every two weeks or every three weeks or every six weeks or every whatever, you can put that information in here. Uh, and then after you finished all of those preferences, you would click save. I'm not going to save her information because that that's not uh, that's not her preferences. Um, but uh, if you go in here, you will see that none of those preferences have changed. But apparently the blackout date stayed. So I got to save that. So I deleted all of them and then I'm clicking save. I probably only click save after the first one. That is pretty much it in a nutshell for all of the volunteering and going through stuff. And again, we are just so thankful you're on our team. I appreciate you uh, listening today and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.